guys and girls, welcome back to my channel. I do hope you're doing well. You're probably sitting there thinking, Shannon, why do you look like a giant marshmallow? What can I say? I'm in the Christmas spirit. We're starting to decorate the trees. There is baubles upon baubles, so I need to get this filmed so that we can actually get them out on the trees because otherwise, they're not going to be very full trees, are they? So, my lovelies, today we've got another one of our collective Christmas decor hauls. These are from scattered places that you should be able to find pretty much most places. The stuff that you will see from garden centres, these are pretty much the generic stuff that you get across all of them. So don't think if it's not your local that you can't get them because some of the bits I picked up in a garden centre when we went on a road trip was also in stock when we went to Van Hagen Peterborough. And Peterborough to Essex, quite a bit of distance. So my lovelies, we have a bag from a little shop. As you all know, we always have a little road trip. It's about... 45 50 minutes from us to a little place called Hong Church, and there's a shop there called Best Sellers. Now, we've been going there for years and years because their Christmas decor is next to none. I actually went there with Brandon's mum this time because we wanted a little detour, see what we could get at, and then had no reason to get back in time, so we had a little detour down to Hong Church. And as I say, had quite a large bag. I've also got two bags in here from a garden centre when me and Mama G had a road trip on Halloween, which is called the Thurrock Garden Centre. And we've got two bags and three boxes. And then when we was on our little road trip, we also popped into Lakeside Shopping Centre to Christmas Magic and got quite a large bag from there. So if you like supporting little local businesses or supporting your local garden centres, get comfy, my lovelies, because this is the haul of all Christmas decor hauls for you. <laughs> so I think we'll start with the bits from Christmas Magic. And as I say, Christmas Magic is a shop, I think it's in Blue Water as well, and they do literally stuff that you'd get in your garden centre and stuff you'd get in, like, wheelcoats or anything like that, but it's all under one roof. And their lakeside store is huge. I haven't been to the Blue Water one yet because I haven't ventured over to Kent side. Traffic is a little bit of a nightmare at the moment, ain't it my lovelies? So when we was there, as I say, we had a little bit of a road trip down to Thorough Garden Centre, which I'll show you in a moment. And I thought while we're there, pop into uh, Lakeside because there was a big Primark there and you girl may or may not have done a little bit of shopping. Oops. So we went into Christmas Magic Shop and there is just plenty of bits and bobs oh is the lady oh she's even taped it for us so we'll get into those later now the majority of things it does vary some things can be very expensive like some of the items in christmas magic you could be looking for 55 pound a bauble but then you can get really affordable bits that will start from as little as 99p so we got quite a bit of a mixture this year I wanted a lot more clip-on bits. As you all know, last year I kind of started getting into like the clip-on birds, clip-on flowers. So I wanted to uh, extend that this year, let's just say. So they don't have the prices on them, but as I say, if I remember distinctly what they were, but the baubles wouldn't have been any more than $2.99 because I don't pay a lot for baubles. Well, $2.99 is still a lot, but then when you compare it to like $3.99, $4.99, no. Most of them I think was around the £2 mark, little bits and bobs. So to start off, I just got this little tartan woolly mitten. How cute is that? As I say, we all know I love a bit of tartan. I love to be proper festive. So we started with that. Now, what are these wrapped up in here? Ah. As I say, I got a little bit carried away with the flowers. So they had some of the flowers down to 49 and 99p. So let's start off with these. I got two here. One is a silver, one is a pink. And then I also picked up, these were 99p if I remember correctly, two little pink, kind of like frosted silver, like snowy effect almost. I love them. As I say, I really want to try and get a little bit more pink on my tree. So that was a good shirt. I would say, oh, skimmed around the border. Almost got it in. These, I believe, were 150 But honestly, look at the detailing in that, my lovely. I mean, just, oh, are you even focusing? Canon, don't start playing around with me today, Canon. We've got a lot of filming to do, darling. Let's try that again. Oh, what is going on? What? Right, let me sort this camera out and I'll be right back, my lovelies. Sorry about this. Right, I don't quite know what's going on, so I'm going to try and 
show it to you best as I can. Canon is not my friend today. And then, as I say, got quite a bit carried away and got all different stylings. These were down to £1 in the sale. They're silver with a little gold trim on it. And then, oh, right. So this was two ninety nine. I remember this because mum said, do you really want it? And I was like, yes, I absolutely love it. Look at that, my lovelies. It's like a little stag head and it's got a little fur shawl. Very bougie, if I do say so myself. But as I say, yeah, the majority of things, apart from a big box of baubles, <laughs> was a lot of clip-on bits. Because as I say, I've seen a lot of people on YouTube, when they do it, they have the huge, huge poinsettias. I'm not about paying like seven, eight pound a stall. So I think the little clips of flowers and birds, I'm very, very happy with. And talking about birds, wait till you see until what I got at the garden centre because, wow, let's just say that. I got the blue flower in a pink flower as well. And as I say, I do find that these really do help just, you know, just bulk out a little uh, tree. Oh, I've got two pink ones. We've got another pink one there. These are actually so nice as like a hair clip like a fascinator oh my god multi-purpose there Shannon Lee this was 2 99 I remember mum thought it was a bit expensive but I just I absolutely loved it a little glitter pink rose which is just what I needed because if you remember last year I have quite a few of the red snow flocked roses that clip on so absolutely love them so I thought a pink version why not also in the blue and pink I got them in gold as I say, because there is another tree edition this year, and who knows what we're going to do decorating it, might as well just go away with the times, eh? Let's have a look. Oh, I've got another one of those ones that was a pan, the silver with the gold edging. As I say, quite a lot. And then, oh, this was, I think, $1.99 or $2.49. Kind of like a silvery pewter rose, but absolutely love it. The only thing, when you have glitter, like my bed, it's all freshly changed. But where I've been filming today, there is glitter everywhere. The baubles have leaked everywhere. And, oh, let's move that out of the way, shall we? That's blocking my view. I love this. This was $1.99, I remember. Look how big that is. I mean, that's definitely a huge fascinator. Imagine that, putting that as a fascinator. And then you go to a wedding and someone says, Oh, my God, I love a fascinator. Where'd you get it? Christmas shop? That's where it is. Oh, and is this the receipt in here? Yes, we're just not going to talk about how much we spent in there. We've got a silver one with blue inserts in the middle. Absolutely love that, as I say, because this year we wanted to try and get some more blues and greens on the tree. And then the last few little bits where she wrapped up in here for us. Oh, these are very bougie. These were $1.99 or $2.49, I believe. We got a rather large peacock i mean how magnificent is that and then we got a little robin with kind of like um straw twig like effects so we got two new little birds to chill and then da -da -da -da. should we try it again <gasps> bingo and then this feels circular ah right this was 199 i believe i really like the style of it if you've seen the range hall, you know that I really like at the moment, like the teardrop shape. But I like that. That's like a little droplet. And then talking of teardrop shape, this was $2.99. But I'm a sucker for anything that's like tartan gold. And I like this because it's got a little bit of black in it. So it's like a dark tartan style, which, you know, I'm all here for. And that bag, oh my God, is filled with glitter. <gasps> Two in a row. Yes, she does. Right. Let's not spill the glitter everywhere let's just put it down there and then the baubles that we got from there as i say because it was majority clip on bits that i went there for but we've got another box of baubles i mean <laughs> do i need any more baubles absolutely not did we get another load yes we did so as i say these would have all varied between 199 to 2 .99. I think some may have been 3 29 absolute maximum, and those were the ones that Mama G liked. So I couldn't say no to her, could I? So the first one we have, da, 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 da. you know what is really annoying though? They all have these little clips on. I mean, I know you can just tear them off, but how annoying is it? I've just sat for probably about 45 minutes taking the price tags off of all of the bits that we've got from the range. Honestly, please find something different so that we don't have to 
do all this because it's very time consuming. First one, look at how gorgeous that is. So that's a champagne crystal one. And then these boxes are so handy to keep as well, my lovelies. Never ever chuck them out if you get bits in a little box. And then we've got this one. This is kind of like uh, emerald green, I would say, with the little gold filigree on. Very similar one in blue, but a bit more of like a midnight blue, this one. Midnight blue, kind of like a black background. Absolutely love that. Then, of course, we've got to have a bit of red. Oh, everything's getting hooked up. Great. Love this. This gives me really, like, Tudor Victorian vibes, you know? As I say, there was quite a few. Oh, these ones. You'll know from the range hall. I love this, like, open-style ball ball that you can see in. I mean, it's like a disco ball, ain't it? Imagine having them as earrings. But I do like... I'm trying to go for more unusual bits on the tree this year. As I say, a few new colours, a few new styles. This was a favourite of mine. Absolutely loved it. Trying to get some more blues out. And as I say, it's just like a really cute sky blue with a few little pearls on and a flower. And then this was one of Mama G's finds. Just like a matte cream coated ball ball with gold running through it and then little gold base at the bottom this again was a mama g one i didn't really know about this because this was in the burgundy section and as we all know that's not really a color vibe that i go for but i did think it was quite nice with the snowflakes on and everything so we had that one added to the pile and then this one i can't remember who was this me or mama g one of us obviously because that's why we bought it a nice gold champagne swirly design again mama g loves the clear glass ball balls but with the designs on them as i say they give me very much like a mosaic vibes this was a bit of me right this is very bougie gave me like moroccan turkish vibes it's the teardrop shape but how gorgeous is that and then we go on to a very neutral one. This is kind of like a matte champagne with a gold little filigree on and a little white sequin casing. And then the last one, a bit of bling. We've got that there. Let's have a look. Oh, oh the things have come up a little bit. Oh, well, we'll just put that at the back of the tree. But yes, a little teardrop shaped one. A bit of bling, you know, can't go wrong so that as i say predominantly it was the clip on roses flowers and everything like that from christmas magic but as i say there is one in blue water and i don't know if they have any like any other pop-up centers around england maybe a few in london i'm not entirely sure i'm sure if you go on their instagram it will tell you a lot more about the details of what they have so that was quite a lot of baubles and that wasn't it my lovelies you don't even want to see what I've got in the bag then. Let's get into part two. <laughs> right, so what we're going to do, we're going to deal with the bits in this bag. This is a reusable bag last year from Best Sellers, if you remember. And we can go with that because Thurrock is going to take us quite a while, the garden centre, I think. But we are just filled with fabulous. Right. Picked up a couple of just the basic ones. These have the prices on, so it's even better for me. £1.50. So we got a green and a blue. And as I say, this style in particular, you can get in nearly every single colour. Gold, red, silver, white, purple, pink, whatever your fancy is. And those you can get in garden centres as well. As I say, I think people must go to like the same exhibitions maybe. I'm not entirely sure how it works for businesses, but must be because i say all the stock is very very similar and it's all very similar price as well now i don't normally pay more than three quid for a ball ball all right but i saw this and this is by si swift imports and we've got quite a few bits from there before i love this first of all is that teardrop shape and then the design of it it was four pound but it is huge and i just saw that and i thought oh my god that is going to be a statement piece for my new tree so i wanted it and then as i say we was going around and b's mum got she got a new like um gonk i think it was was it a gonk yeah because she loves gonks as much as me and then we had a little detour had to look around but i most definitely got carried away with the baskets let's just say 
talking of carried away i saw this and was like oh my god gisella graham we all know that she is one of the designers that i absolutely adore at christmas and this was only 2.99 which i didn't think was too bad it's a little santa sleigh i absolutely love that that is going to go pride of place on my tree i believe i mean why not we might as well get away and uh, get all the new bits on the new girl this very similar to the ones that i got from christmas magic but this is a red version 1.99 we've got more flowers so as i say you can see that the stocks you can pretty much get in all of like the homeware the garden centers the christmas shops they must all go to the same supplier i think but hey ho i'm not choosy because it's just more places for me to go and choose from and now this is ella graham this was 2.99 and this is what i mean by like the classic typical christmas decoration i just absolutely love these ball balls and as i say anything with like a bit of tart and i am there for apologies if i seem to be trying to go through this quite speedy i know there's a lot coming up for the thorough garden center and i don't want this video to be like an hour long so i am trying to breeze through them because otherwise you'll be quite bored and switch off won't you this was 2.99 by the brand decoris and they say it's shatterproof i'm not going to try it but it is a little pink ball ball with some sequins on. So that is fan dabby dozy. And then what else have we got here? Another Gisella Graham. I love the colour of this one. $3.99 this one. So borderline the top end of my uh, budget. But I just loved the green effect. And it's almost like a little winter's day. You've got the snowflakes, the acorns, a little bit of grass on there absolutely loved it and they're very good with their packaging because they wrap them all up individually for you so there's no breakages oh my god i saw this and could not stop myself b's mum just laughed and was like that is so you i was like i know right i know this is so me people might think this is tacky i don't care i got mr and mrs claus that salt and pepper shakers how cute are they i just needed to have them in my life i was like oh my god you are coming home with me i saw this for 2.99 loved it i love a christmas pudding well actually no i don't eat christmas pudding but i love the whole vibe of it nice little gold christmas put there who remembers last year i got the big christmas pudding decoration that you open i mean not that there's ever been a present in there for me but hey ho there's always uh there's always possibilities eh and then what have we got in here ah so i saw these and i really wanted some more remembrance bits so as you will all know whoo, in amongst all the other decorations that i absolutely adore i love anything to do with like robins um just for like the people that aren't here anymore and i saw these and they were only 1.99 so i thought you know what I'm going to get a pair each. So we have got a set of pink and blue angel wings. Just for our little angels who are no longer here. And as I say, pink for the ladies and blue for the boys. Oh my God, there is still a lot in here. Got a uh, another red flower because clearly one wasn't enough. As I say, I try to not buy them in pairs. But it's quite evident that that doesn't always go to plan. Because here we have another red flower. And I just think you can't go wrong. That's so much cheaper than, say, having the huge, huge ones that I see other people have. But if you can afford it, go. Go and do it. I just can't afford £7 per rose, I'm afraid. Uh, £2.99. Love this one. We've got a few like this from last year, like a little present stack, um, a rocking horse. Just like really quirky bits, you know. Oh, my God, I love these. But I don't know if they're going to be too big for the tree. They was £2.99 each, but... Oh, let me just get that off of there they match what i'm wearing two big huge pink baubles i don't mind if i do and then we've got a couple of little birds these were 1.99 as i say love a few little uh, clip on birds i think they're like parakeets i'm not entirely sure more of a rustic vibe as opposed to the silver ones we got prior but according to me i did pick up some silver birds oopsie right and now we're hooked up there we go these were by si swift once again and they were 199 so we've got a uh, plenty little uh, silver birds to be down on the tree and honestly it wasn't until i started to unpack all the decorations from last year that i realized we actually do have 
a lot of clip-on stuff already. Like, I don't know how it's going to go now, because next year I don't think we physically need another ball ball. But I've still got to film content for you guys, so... I don't know how that's going to work. And it's not even like we can buy another tree, because there is literally... There won't be any room in the house to move, because it's like a forest already. This was $2.99. Absolutely loved it. Baby pink with snowflakes and kind of like a streaked effect. Absolutely love it. I would, however, love to maybe go away one Christmas to a lodge. Me and Brandon was looking at log cabins last night and may or may not have booked something for February time. Who knows? Might be something to look forward to. But yeah, I would love to go away for a lodge for Christmas just to see how they decorate it. But I think I would miss home. We got another rose. This was £3. A little bit more pricier. But it is a lovely, lovely large one. And then these are the ones that I talk about. £1.50. I get them all the years. The red snow coated ones. And then apparently we got the big flowers. These were how much for you? Got them in green as well. Two ninety nine. So we've got them in a lovely sage green. So we've got every single colour possible. And then for £1.50, an apple and cinnamon spiced candle. My bed is slowly getting filled up. And we've only done Christmas magic and bestsellers. So go and get a drink, get comfy again. And let's come back for the final, which is Thurrock Garden Centre. Right. So, <laughs> I don't even know where to begin with this. Thurrock Garden Centre, we went to a couple of years back. We couldn't go last year because obviously everything was shut for COVID. And they had real life reindeers, which I've never seen reindeers before. So it's one of those garden centres that I want to always go to every year. Like I want to make it a tradition for me and Mama G to go. They didn't have the reindeers though this year, unfortunately. So I don't know if maybe because it's a bit early. Ow! <laughs> I just sat on a bit of glitter. Um, Don't know if it's maybe a bit too early for them because I think when we went couple of years ago it was december time it was like a few weeks before christmas so who knows but i would definitely say if you're local to the area or if not as i say it's about 40 minutes for us and we love a little road trip and how many times do i want to say and it's just i like to support like little garden centers especially this time of year because a lot of people may just go to like the more shopping centers and the retailers like tesco's and asda and all that like Try and support your little local businesses if you can do. And as I say, even if they're not local, have a little road trip. So, we've done quite a bit of damage in there. You know it's bad when you have to have two big bags and three boxes. So, where do we even begin? Let's start with the ball balls, I think, because as I say, absolutely love the fact that you get the boxes. As I say, these are great to keep. We have got boxes upon boxes out there. And you know what? It's a lot cheaper than having to buy the boxes online. Right. They varied between $1.99 and $2.99, possibly $3.50. But the prices are on here, so we shall know. This is by, there's quite a few by the brand Decoris, which I think was a few from bestsellers as well. So as I say, they must all go to the same supplier. Love this one, my lovelies. A lovely little green metallic one. This was $1.99. So it's a green metallic with almost, I think it's like Star of David in gold. Loves that one. And then this one, Mama G, absolutely love. This was $1.99 again. But as I say, she loves all like the frosted and the clear ball ball. But it's got all of the little stones at the top. And then this lovely snowflake design in the middle. And then, ah, don't want to break that one. And then this one is by S.I. Swift. As I say, this again was a brand that was in bestsellers. This was $2.99. And it's just a lovely white one with red glitter snowflakes all over and a nice little gold top. And then this, as I say, gives me very, like, Victorian vibes. This was $2.99. But I just think it screams tradition. It's a lovely red metallic one. And then you've got the droplets and the gold beading. So that was one little box that they gave us. As I say, the poor lady, we was there for ages when she was scanning it, bless her. And we was just like, oops, sorry that we've got quite a lot. She was like, no problem. She was like, thank you for waiting. I was like, well, I couldn't exactly just walk out with them, could I? And then we have another box, if I can get into it. Oh, we have a duplicate. Okay, Mama G must have picked up two of the green ones. We have another green one. I loved this one. This one was £2.00. 
but it's just very it was on kind of like a rustic tree and they had all of these like little owls and foxes down the bottom so it could have almost been like a scandinavian autumnal tree in a way as you all know we love robins and i love to get things with robins every year to add to the tree and oh little dog barking there to add to the tree and as i say it just brings memories for the people who are no longer here so this was 2.99 and this was by the brand festive just simply festive and then what else have we got this one also by the brand festive don't quite know who that is 2.99 and this is kind of like a red into white ombre very traditional with the holly reefs and almost like mistletoe on there so i absolutely love that as i say like to shush it up with a bit of tradition and then again festive i haven't heard of this 2.99 i love this this is for my tree it's kind of like a speckled shattered baby pink glass bauble which is absolutely lovely and then again festive 2.99 it's just a clear well it's not clear it's white shine just a simple bauble but it's got the little reindeer on absolutely love a bit of rudolph on there and as i say i'm gonna pop that there because i cannot get the lid back on and what's the point of putting the lid on because i've got to cut the tags off in a minute so they can go on the trees and then our last box of baubles from fabric garden center these are very jazzy and i see another duplicate let's have a look there oh my god there is literally no room let's move the phone so we have again from decoris a little one with snowflakes on this was 1.99 i love this this was festive 2.99 but it's the teardrop shape that i like and it gave me like grinch vibes because it's like polka dot and i just thought of the grinch when i saw it so it had to go in and then this is a very classic one, again by Festive. So, okay, Festive may be a new supplier, my lovely, that I haven't heard of. This was $2.99. I mean, how gorgeous is that? Absolutely phenomenal. And then what is this one? Oh, no, this one is a Decoris $2.99. Love this. Absolutely love this. As soon as I walked in, I was like, I need that. It is a red clear bauble with a little stag decoration on, which is fabulous. $2.99 again this was by Decorus this gives me like green traditional vibes it is a green smoked glass ball ball with little gold droplets and red and green little pimples and then the last one again by Festive $2.99 it's another Robin one my lovelies oh let's put the lid back on I don't want that to come off if I hang that oh no it's fine we got a teardrop one with a Robin on as I say we all know that I love to have the robins near us and when I was unpacking the tree bits earlier, we've got quite a lot of robins. So you know what? Two more's not going to hurt, is it? Two huge bags. So let's just dive straight in. Da -da -da -da. We all know that me and Mama G love a bit of tinsel. And that tinsel was actually a very reasonable price. It was 2 99 and this one I picked up, oh my god, I'm getting in a right pixie here, because it's like candy cane. Absolutely love it. How long are you? Two meters. Absolutely love it. And as I say, candy cane, I just had to, you all know that me and Mama G are a sucker for tinsel. A lot of people may think that tinsel is old fashioned, outdated, meh, 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 meh. I don't care, me and Mama G love anything tinsel. So if it offends you, you may not want to see the home tour because there will be quite a lot of tinsel. Just a little FYI, okay? We've got some more clip-on flowers. <laughs> oh my God, I've got enough clip-on flowers, I think, for all the trees now and probably all the branches. This was $1.99. It's just a lovely little filigree gold leaf one. And then what have we got in here? Oh, we've got a little... Oh, this is a soft ball ball. 1.99 by decoris it's almost like a snowball gives me snowball effects and if i remember correctly there may be another one somewhere because i think we picked up oh yes there it is da, da, da. we picked up two of those i say only 1.99 and then what have we got in here oh another huge rose this was by everland's flowers and plants 1.99 
I just think that roses are really, really nice for Christmas, any time of the year, but Christmas especially, because we all know Beauty and the Beast is my favourite Disney film. So if I can get roses on my tree, best believe your girl is. Let's have a look. Up 225, Mama G picks up Dada, a new little beer mat. She's just got three bottles of beer on it, so that's hunky dory for him. And then she does love a good nutcracker, does Mama G. Let's get these out. I don't want to be twisted. So these were both by one was decorous and one was festive. So this little guy was $1.99. She got a little gold nutcracker. And this guy was $2.99. He is a fully grown nutcracker, silver, glitzy, eat your heart out. And then moving on to the last bag of this very, very large haul. I do apologise, my lovelies. Mama G has picked this up for Bubba. Bubba, I think, will love it. We were trying to find a penguin one, but they didn't have a penguin because they say Bub's is a liver of penguins, happy feet, loves it all. So we picked this up. Well, Mama G picked this up. It was either reindeer or Santa. And I thought, you know what? Because she loves animals, we'll get her the reindeer one. So next time... Ah! I'm round bees and Bubs is there. We shall be giving her a little thing. She's already had her... So she had her autumnal and Halloween little gift bag from us. And then there was something that I picked up for her for Christmas. And I said to her when I give it to her, I was like, right. This was supposed to be for your Christmas box. But you're going to have it as an early winter box, all right? And I got her like a little um, red winter's coat. And oh. <gasps> my heart i couldn't like brandon was like you never go and see her and not have anything i'm like i can't help it she's just too cute all right so yes it's, bubs will probably have like a pre-christmas box as well oh my god i saw this and i loved it this was 1.99 did i get two of these yes this just screamed grinch and candy cane vibes and they're fluffy like i would love to wear them as earrings might be a little bit big but i think they are going to look fantastic and then I got this little guy, so another felt pudding, $1.99, chocolate pud, but he's a little felt one. Felt things, I think, are great because you can just pop them in and then they're not heavy. They're not going to break anything. Decorous, $1.99. I love this because it's a lovely sage green colour with almost like leaves on the front. Okay, I am slowly losing space now on the bed. Oh my god, I've just filmed the range haul and I had literally no space then and now I have no space again. Oh wow, this is a little bit of a problem, isn't it, my lovelies? And then, oh, did we get another one? Oh, we got another Christmas put for one ninety nine, but a red one. So we've got a classic red. Oh, just breaking everything here. A classic red and a classic brown. Sham, what do you mean a classic red? Christmas puts ain't red. You know what I mean, my lovelies. Oh, my God, and there's food in here. I forgot about this. Oh, this has been sitting here for like a week and there's food in there. Oh, my God, I'm going to have to eat some in a minute. I do apologise, my lovelies. Right, let's crack on with the decorations. These, oh, my God, I am obsessed with. So they are $2.99. But if I can get it out of the bag... Have you ever seen a more bougier bird? Look at this. Look at her big feathers. Oh my God, I cannot wait to put this on the tree. I loved her so much that I went around to every single tree display. And best believe, if I saw her in another colour, I was picking her up. So we have red, my lovelies. I was all hooked up now. Nah. Oh no. Ah! Can we unhook you? Let's get you off there, love. Oh, gold. There we go. We've got her in gold. I mean, just look at that. Obviously, they're not going to go together because their fans wouldn't uh, fit next to each other. So we've got red. We've got gold. We got pink, like a rose gold pink. Oh, her ones are a bit more like I found out. Okie dokes, we're just going to go with that. And then, of course, we've got a classic silver. I was really gutted because I was hoping that they'd done it in green as well, but they didn't. So, as I say, these were £2.99. People might think that's very expensive. You've spent £12 on four birds. But, I mean, oh, and I've got my ball ball on there. Are they not just the most bougiest birds you've ever seen? 
and I might even use, because I haven't got tree toppers for all of my trees just yet, I could even use something like that as a tree topper. Not going to judge. Right, oh, this was in the little green section, and Mama G, she absolutely loved it. It was $1.99. A little green, little tree, just to, like, go on her table or anything like that. And then we have some more tinsel. Two metres for $2.99. This is... So the last one we got was like candy cane themed. This is almost like a holly garland theme. It's got little green and gold stars. Can't go wrong with a bit of tinsel, can ya? And then what else have we got? Oh, we got another flower. This was $1.99. A little silver diamante rose. And then, oh, another nutcracker. Where are you coming from, guy? Ah, $1.99. Mum must have got two of this little fella because we've got him down there already. And then there's food. How did I forget about the food? Oh my God. So I love garden centers, as you may or may not have worked out, especially for the food, the deli, the chutneys. Oh my God, if you watch any of the log cabin videos, they are in our time for a getaway playlist. We always go to garden centers and you can guarantee we will always pick up food, whether it be chutneys, jams, anything like that. Dada, I normally pick up some chutneys and sauces. Mama G, I always have to pick up a lemon curd. She kind of like doing a taste test of all the lemon curds that I pick up around England. And then I always get normally like crackers or some cakes, a bit of carrot cakes, some little cupcakes. We have to have it all. So in Thurrock, they have quite a large food selection. And one of the ones we come across was Mrs. Crumbles. Oh, no, not Mrs. Crumbles, Mrs. Crimbles. I do apologise. So, Mum picked up six big jam coconut rings. And I think these were... How much were you? $1.99, I believe. I can't see the price on it, but I'm sure these were about $1.99. And then I got six big coconut macaroons. Now, I'm very tempted to open one of these now because I haven't eaten anything today. And I am starving. Let's open one, shall we? And I'll give you a taste test. As I say, I love getting little bits from shops and the garden centres because I'd rather give to the little local businesses and I always find it so much more flavourful. So, like, I get Dada sauces and chutneys and that and he'd much rather something I get from a garden centre than, say, like, a tin of Heinz. Oh, my God. Oh, that's so soft and spongy as well. If anyone else loves a coconut macaroon, let me know down below. And Mrs. Crimble's is gluten-free, my lovelies, since 1979. Well, that was scrum diddly umptious. Oh, my God. Mrs. Crimble, I'll definitely be popping back and seeing you, my darling. So, my lovelies, now I've finished stuff in my face. The bed is filled. That means that our Christmas collective haul for 2021 is done. So, my lovelies. <laughs> another christmas haul another christmas collective haul the first one for this year and as i say do not shout at me but i can guarantee you now that there will still be more hauls coming they will still include more little bits and bobs like christmas decorations and then probably throughout a vlogmas i'll be updating you in the vlogs when we've popped out and maybe bought a few more bits even though she says that she's looking at it all we definitely do not need another single wall wall but I know there's more bubbles to come and I know that there's going to be plenty more to come. So don't shout at me. But yes, as I say, do let me know down below if you visit any local garden centres or any garden centres that you would recommend myself to have a little road trip against. As I say, I don't mind going two, three hours in the car, gets us out, a new little place, especially if it has like a deli section or food and a calf. Sign me straight up, all right? But yes, I am surrounded. I now need the mammoth task of taking all of the price tags off. That's the only thing. There needs to be something new where you don't have tags on it because it is very time consuming. And the ones from the range, I cut through a couple of the stems. Not ideal, I know, but oh, it was highly annoying. So yes, as I say, if you did enjoy the video, guys, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment. What was your favourite bit? Do you like the clip-ons? Do you like the birds? Do you like the baubles? Do you like nutcrackers? Do you have anything for Robins for our past ones? Do you love coconut macaroons, Mrs. Crimbles, 
you're eating my heart out darling or do you like click on little birds what are you like for candy cane theme let me know anything to do with christmas my lovelies i want to hear all about it down below in the comments box all right but for now i'm gonna have to take all these off because these need to go on the trees and i've got a whole night of filming ahead <gasps> busy 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 and i'm back to work tomorrow i've had two days off and they have flown by and we don't seem to be getting anywhere, so it's a little bit worrying. But yes, take care, stay safe as always, my lovelies. And I shall see you all in the next video, which is decorating for Christmas vlog 2021. Bye!